Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Trivia Truck, and today I'm going to show you the online subscription of Miller and Levine Biology 2010 First and Only Good Best Edition of the book. Now, I really, really like how this is laid out online better than the current edition, 2019. Um, and so I'm going to get into those reasons as I'm going through. Um, and so I'm going to show you a, um, a sample chapter and give you a spoiler and teaser to what it's going to look like for the upcoming biology course that's high school level for Curtis University. So it gives the, um, the chapter title, um, we were on chapter 27, dealing with animal systems. And so there's several animal systems, so one, those, um, those two chapters, I think, so animal systems one and animal systems two, um, what kinds of, uh, concepts, uh, um, it gets into, and then it probably gets more advanced and more in-depth, and those even more concepts, or those two more animal systems. But anyway, over here it gives, um, so it asks, um, just the, um, like the chapter mystery is over here, and the big idea um, is structure and function, and it gives a, uh, um, an essential question for the big idea and for the chapter right here. Now, the chapter mystery, um, if you click on it, it shows a video, um, and for some reason it's not working, but anyway, so, um, we won't worry about that. Um, and so they have several, uh, case studies in this book. So, and, um, this is pretty easy to just flip through the, um, the chapters and the pages, just like that. Because on the new one, you need to go way down to the bottom, and you need to, um, just click next, and it separates the lessons. So if you want to go to the next lesson, you have to go out, click the lesson, and, um, like, click separate lessons and get to the e-text and then, e e you know, and so this is easy to navigate. So, uh, feeding and digestion, so it gives a little think about it of just a little, um, just a brain hook on and just introduction right here, um, of feeding and digestion. This is section one. The key questions for the section laid out right here. These can be found in the text as well, and they are in blue. Vocabulary words down here, and um, if you click on one, it defines the word. Um, which So, um, intracellular digestion, it says type of digestion in which food is digested inside specialized cells that pass nutrients to other cells by diffusion. I have no idea um, what that is because um, nobody has gotten into the material yet. And so we're going to start previewing this once the books arrive. So you can go to the glossary and you can go to the dictionary down here. So uh, um, if you click here, so how do animals obtain food? If you click on the question, it shows you where it is in the actual text. So this is off um, Apple Books. So if I were to click on a vocab word, it gives me two options. Go to the glossary, it takes me to the, um, the glossary um, of just all the words laid out uh, um, right here. And the different letters, like any glossary down this, um, down this little menu, you can click on any, and it has the word, and it defines it. Weighted glossary terms, um, and then the index of where the term is located, um, chapter 27, um, and then the section. So let's go back there. So you can click study up here, and it gives, um, and it gives, 
um, several features, so it has, um, vocabulary cards, and it, um, um, if you turn the card around, it just gives the definition, and so you can flip card. This is way, way easier to navigate, because it has all the buttons easily laid out. You can easily click to one thing while you're on one page and not have to, um, get out of the page and go to entirely new page. That's the real, uh, that's the real con about the new edition. So, um, if you go to this little button, um, and click, uh, um, on the chapter and it gives the, um, the vocabulary words for that. Table of contents, so it gives right there. Okay, so, um, right now I need to show you all the features for that. Okay, so let's click done. So, right here you can go see all the glossary terms. Okay, so, uh, taking notes, it gives the outline and reading strategy, uh, um, right there as well, as you can see, if you can. So, um, obtaining food, so this is the section introduction, um, and we are on section one, feeding and digestion, and so any key question, um, that's listed is, um, you can find it in the text, and it is in blue. And so here's the introduction, built vocabulary, um, um, in addition to the normal vocab words. Now, um, they insert several different types of figures and visuals in the actual text, and we're going to take a look at, um, um, those kinds of things. So this is um, a figure for obtaining food. Figure 1.1, obtaining food. Um, and so this is actually a slideshow. You can click down here with these dots from one to the next. So um, from filter feeders, detrovores, carnivores, and herbivores, you can easily go to one of the next. Or you can click up here to this button. Let's see what that does gives you it another form, and so you can see the figure uh, more closely, um, and just a bigger, fuller view of it. So then down here, um, this is the negative, uh, low road to this, is that you can't really read the, um, the little description for the figure that well. Can you read it? I can't read it. Um, and so if you, um, if you want to look at the picture closely, and zoom it, but if you want to read the writing, I would suggest, um, looking at, um, looking at the text in that form. So you can go across to one to the next very easily, and again, it gives the picture, figure, and then the, um, um, description for that. Okay, so now let's flip to the next page. So, then this is just a regular figure on coral symbiotins. So, the little description, the color of the star coral is caused by, um, zo zooxanile algae living with it. I don't know how to pronounce it. So, then if you, um, um, then if you just again touch it, um, click it, then... Uh, you can see the figure closer. So some of them have multiple, um, uh, multiple slides to them, others don't. And also, any main ideas as well as the key questions are in the text in blue. So nutrient symbiotics, and so the thing that I really like is that the text is really well broken down into several pages, so it's all with the imprinted textbooks, but they broke it down into more pages because there's less information, so I really like how they did that. Now, the, um, the current edition 2019, they break the text down. Um, pretty well, they might have more of it, um, just slightly more, um, just not very much at all, but, um, so they break it down, but, but not as well as this, because it's, um, just a big page of text where you scroll down. This you don't need to, because it's just, 
um, just really well broken down, so you can easily click the forward arrow and just read the text ongoing. So, processing food and intracellular digestion, so key questions in the text and, um, and main ideas, and uh, glossary terms um, and vocab terms for the lesson chapter in there as well. Uh, so let's see. So click on the figure. Um, uh, I mean, you know, it shows the figure up close. So there's two figures just like that. Okay. So um, this is an analyzing data figure on the bird. Um, figure 1.5 digestive tracts description. Click analyze data. This is a little thing that they've embedded. Um, with the text, so it gives the, um, just the name of the analyzing data and then the little, um, description here. And so it gives these, um, just these review questions of, um, interpret graphs, analyzing data, and draw conclusion questions right here. So then it gives the graph over there. Okay. Now, if you go to the next page, now this is what I'm going to spend some time on. So, special occasions for different diets, specialized mouth parts, and specialized digestive tracts. Now, you can, um, the great thing is that you can read the text as you are looking at the figures. Because they are just in the portent, um, just as important. So, this is the visual version of the text. So, if you didn't want to... Um, read the text, you could look at the visual, although you should do both. So it gives the visual for the text, um, how it looks, and then just the reading going along with it. You can read it as you go along from one to the another, or you can do the visuals before you read, or vice versa. So, um, anyway, let's click on this. So, besides the slideshow where you will think was an analyzing data that we looked at, um, this is a little video, um, this is what I call, like, a, um, a video in-depth figure model. That's what I'm going to call it. So, figure 1.6, specialized teeth for eating meat. So, if you click on this little play, um, button in the center, this is what's really, um, kind of neat about this. Um, you can click it, and it gives, um, just, uh, um, you know, just again, it outlines the figure, and it focuses only on the figure. And so, specialized teeth for eating meat, this is what the figure is, it gives the little, um, just some information about that. Now, down here... It labels the um, um, it labels the um, the different parts. So the jaw joint and um, this is a carnivore um, animal, and so this takes it in depth. What focuses on one thing, and you can really get a lot from it. But if you wanted to go further into it. Um, if you wanted to go further in depth and look at an even more specific part of the um, the creature, so then let's look at um, let's look at the um, the intestines. So this is what's really great. So it shows um, I mean it actually shows you a video when you click on that of just the motions of how the intestines work, and just how it, you know, moves. And so, um, then it gives a little fact. So, chisel-like intestines are used for cutting, gnawing, and um, grooming, and it shows that in the video if you click on it. Just a little silent um, motion video of how um, it shows you how they work. So, you can do the same for another part of the... Um, of the body and of the fecal, so meals and, um, preliminaries, and it gives a little, um, fact about that. So, now, let's skip forward here. So, at the end of the lesson, at the end of the chapter, um, it gives the, um, the assessment, um, 
So the assessment is right after. And so the great thing about this that I really like better than the Pearson Now is that it has everything all in one. You can click for it and it gives everything out in one full page and one full screen. You can go to one button to the next and it gives, for example, for this, like the assessment, with the chapter on that same page, or as a new edition, you need to click out and go to the assessment tab. So for the assessment, um, you know, it gives like um, a little question here, and it review key concepts, uh, questions right here. So review questions, relate cause and effect, compare and contrast, and analogies. Um, so then what about science? I'm just applying it to, you know, just science and um, those questions for that. And uh, um, just the summary of, um, so that kind of thing. So this is right about science. So um, it's a written question. And, you know, as a teacher, you can quiz your students on all of it, or you can pick out specific parts of this information. Just the same as in the chapters themselves. So down here for question one of five. So, um, detrivores feed on. So it gives the question and the answers, and then you can, like, if you click on insects, it checks the answer. So, wrong, um, if you do it right, it's probably green. You can easily go, um, click, um, the, um, questions as you go right or left. Um, so you can click back and forth the questions going left or right. Then it shows you appeal question three of five, question four or five, things like that. So, uh, so that is what the text um, looks like. Um, just a little preview and you can search any content that Trevor's, let's see, comes up. If I would have searched, okay, well, anyway. Great. So I hope that that was um, a good little preview to what it looks like.